So to wrap up, I'm going to ask you, because I've noticed it throughout the interview, your Tornado F3 print in the back, on the back wall there. How did that become, you know, part of your pictures there? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll give you a short, quick rundown, but the F3 was, uh, I flew with Bill Farragut. The long story short is I was at uh, Ludwig and and he, and he found he was looking for Spugarity because Spook was a good friend of his. And Al Thoros was at 11 Squad, or we call him Thoros, he was at 11 Squad in, in uh, Air Force Base Nimi, and he wanted to know to come and visit Lou Trichard to come and fly against the Cheetahs. And I said, well, Spook is closer to you. He was the attaché then in Israel. He said, okay, but then, and I said, maybe if it's, if it's a tornado, you want to speak with Jan Mini. He says, I see uh, squadron commander of the F1 AZ, the mud movers, we call them, the air to ground attack. He says, no, no, we're not, we're not the GR1s, we're the F1s. I said, you want to come here? I said, what's the question? And um, then uh, there was uh, the major, I think I mentioned that uh, Royal Air Force, I can't remember the there was a uh, Royal Air Force fighter seminar or something. And we, as I say, South Africa was invited. We were invited to go there. And I saw went with the late Lee Culpin, who was the test pilot at Danelle. And um, he flew the, the, the cheetah uh, with a combat wing. And because I was the OC of the squadron. And then it was, we got the permission to, to actually open up. Here's the Cheetah Sea, which was held, so, we was kept so secret. Of course, we didn't use many other, I mean, where does it come from exactly? But the bottom line, uh, Thoreau said he'll be there as well. And then he invites me to come and visit Air Force Base Deming. I said, he's a flip in the equation. He says, what's the question? <laughs> of course. And I was so fortunate. And I went with the attache, Stein Fenter. He, he drove me up there and with Rick Alpen, And we went to um, Leeming and we passed a little town called Rugby. And little did I know, this is where rugby comes from. I mean, that's my favorite sport, which is our hobby as well as watching sport. And that's how I ended up in the backseat of the, 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 the tornado. Lovely. It was so nice. It is feeling like the same. You sit in the back, unfortunately, and you do touch and goes. You know, you can't see much. It's this bathtub that you sit in, which the Tita D in the back is not much different. But uh, those two little engines, it's amazing. We accelerated over the um, over the sea um, from 300 to 600 knots. And I didn't think that aircraft can do that that quick. <laughs> and, of, and then, of course, you've got the swing wing. It's another wonderful thing. Clunk, 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 clunk. I'll never forget it. <laughs> I was very fortunate.